the key so welcome to a new lesson so this lesson will be on how to make the circle tool skirts which is divided into three apart from the waistband we have this first layer which will be this african print fabric the second layer will be two while the third will also be two so that means i have three one two three so going to the measurements required i need the length of the skirt so meaning from the waist to the hem which is going to be 23 inches the length of the fabric that is this upper one will be seven inches in length then the tool for each one is going to be 15 inches in length you might be wondering why the lower part is much i want this to overlap this in such a way that the lining being used will not be showing at all so that was why i wrote 15 inches times two so the lining could be satin or you could use your normal lining but satin would have been better so now having done that then the waist circumference now is 30 inches so looking at this for this upper part which i'll be making use of this material i'm going to use a full circle flare to make this upper part the lining is going to be made of a half circle flare so it depends on you you could even make this a half circle flare but i will make this upper part a full circle while the lining will be half circle so to calculate for the full circle now you need the radius in which to cut the circular flare and the length we already know the length to be seven inches but we need the radius of the circumference so how do you calculate that the waist circumference which is 30 inches plus one inch for the seam allowance if you had just one inch you have one inch on both sides so 30 plus one divided by 6.28 this is a standard for a full circle so that will be 31 divided by 6.28 which will give me 4.97 approximately five inches then for the lining now which could be your normal lining or your bridal satin i want to use a half circle flare that would be 30 plus 1 inches divided by 3.142. So when I divided that, I have 9.7 inches. So that would be the radius for the lining, the radius for the first tier of the circle skirt. So now I'm going to show you the material, then we can get started. These are the material required. This is the African print fabric for the first tier. This is the lining I'll be making use of. And this is the tool. This tool is already cut out in 15 yards in length. It was just a leftover from the wedding gown I made. So I have 20 yards here. So 10 yards will be for the first one. The second one will be 10 yards. Let me just confirm that to you. So this is one of the ends. So can you see I have about 15 and a half here, which is fine. Can you see that? So what I'm going to do now is to cut it into 10, 10 yards, then gather it up. So I already have the length of the 15 I want. So by 10 yards, so that will be for the first, uh, the second tier, which will be two. Then the other 10 yards will be for the third tier. So all I have to do now is to cut it up into 10, 10 yards and gather it up. This is the fabric now. I want to cut the full circle. Remember the radius is five inches why the length of the fabric is seven so wait, i'm going to add the seven inches to the five which will give me 12 inches don't forget to add the seam allowance to hem the lower part and to join the upper part to this so instead of this seven now i can just make it half an inch on the lower side half an inch on the upper part so half an inch here half an inch so when i add that to seven that will be eight inches so 8 inches plus 5 now, that was going to give me 13 inches in length. So let me show you how to fold that. So this is this. I'm just going to fold this way. Then I will confirm if I will have 13 inches. Okay, it's quite okay. After doing that, that's how to fold for the full circle. After doing that, then I can fold over. Then I have to make sure I confirm again if it's up to 13. So I can still move it up for to save my fabric. So this is it to confirm. I want to confirm it. So 13 is here, so it's still okay. That means it's going to go round. So let me just cut this off then we can focus on this. Right now, for the radius first, 5 inches. So I'm just going to start from the 
Okay. Placing my measuring tape at the edge here, then I'm going to measure 5 inches, that's radius. So by the time I open it up, I'm going to have 32 inches. Now I'm done with the radius. The next thing now is to insert the main fabric, the 8 inches. But since I've added it to this 5 inches, I'll have 13. So I'll start marking 13 and rotating the measuring tape. In case you don't understand how, I, how we went about the formula and all that, I have a detailed video explaining all that, which I'll put the link in the description box below. So I'm just going to rotate this to get the 13 inches. Now that is done, so to confirm it, from this point to this point, can you see that's 8 inches? 8 inches. So I'm going to cut out the lining I'll be using for this fabric the same way I folded and the same way I cut it out. Can you see that? Then I'm going to open one side, but I want to cut out the lining first so I have a full circle. So let's go to the half circle now. It's time to cut out the lining now, which is going to be the half circle. So now you won't want the lining of the skirt to be exact same measurement with the tool. So now since the length will be 23, so what I will do now is this. I'm going to make it 20 inches because you want the tool coming out more than the lining. So the length now is going to be 20 for the lining I'm about to cut out. Then... I'm going to add that plus to this radius. The radius here is 9.7. So 20 plus this will give me 29.7. So that will be the length, which is still okay, though we'll need half an inch to join to the band. But with that, with that 29.7 is still fine. So I'll show you how to fold for the half circle. This is the lining now. I've cut out enough fabric to be okay. So I'm just going to fold over this way. Hope you can see that after doing that i'm then going to fold over this way so that is how to fold for a half circle skirt and you see that so i needed 29.7 so you need to make sure it will be okay before you move on so from the edge since i've added the radius 9.7 is going to be here the radius then the length 29.7 so it is okay because you need to be sure of this lower one so now let's start with the radius now i'll start with the radius 9.7 I've marked out the 9.7. The next one would be the 29.7 because I've had it. 29.7 will be here. So at the end of the day, what I'll have here should be 20. Can you see that from here to here is 20? So I'm just going to mark it all down. Right now I've marked that, then I can cut it out. circle looks like you can see the circle is reduced so the next thing is to cut the band then i will start coupling it together the belt has been sorry the band has been cut out can you see then i made use of the lightest interfacing just to give it a little stability so looking at what i have here now i have 32 inches that is the waist circumference 30 plus one inch of both sides for the seam allowance, making 32 inches. And then in height, I made it two and a half. So when opening it up, it is five. So when I fold it, it is two and a half. Half inch to take it in, then I'll be left to two inches band. So that's a side. Then going over to the lining now. So just listen attentively here. Remember the length of the 
of the skirt is 23 but we want this lining to be shorter like 3 inches so we cut out 20 for this so what I will do is this just place that 20 here this is the 20 can you see that's the length of the lining then this is the length of the skirt itself so what I will do now to know where to sew the third layer of the tool now that is why I am explaining this so this is 23 I'll just count up 15 from here because remember the first tool is 20 is 15 then the second one is 15 so from 23 now I'll just count up for 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 so that was why I made this call all through just make it this way so that's where I'm going to sew the lower tool I've made the line all through so that is that on the tip the next thing I'm going to do now is this open up this I cut out the lining so right side is going to be facing each other I've slit open one end on both sides after cutting my lining after doing all this then I'm going to sew in remember we left half inch on both sides this is eight inches half inches will be half inch will be taken in half inch will be taken in so i'm going to take to the sewing machine and sew half an inch all through after doing that i'll open it up to top stitch before i close this low this open end so that's what i'm going to do now then gather my tool i will have gathered the tool and i'll turn the main fabric with the lining so then I top stitch just to make it stable. So what I'm going to do now is this. I have two sets of tool gathered here. So it is 10 yards for each. Though you can reduce the upper part and make it like eight, then add the remaining two to the lower one. Depends on your preference. You can even use more than 10 yards. You could use 20 yards depending on your preference. So this is the one I gathered to the same circumference as this upper one. So I'm going to set this aside. So we'll be working on this very one, which we will sew to the lower part of the lining. Remember, I already left the mark here. So what I will do now is to take this. Can you see that? Then I'm going to sew it. Take your time when you're sewing. Can you see that? So starting from here, though I've not gathered it to the same length, so I'm going to start sewing it on the line I marked. I explain how to do that because this has to be shorter than the tool. Then I'm just going to sew it all around. So let me do that and show you the next step. Can you see the tool has been sewn on the lining? Make sure when you are using, when you are making yours, use a brighter satin. I just made use of normal lining for the purpose of the tutorial. So can you see how beautiful that looks now? So the next thing now is to take the second layer from the starting point. Can you see how nice that looks? So till the other end. So that is what I will have now. Then I will now have to take the peplum. Can you see this? Or first, you can attach this to the tool before adding it to the lining. But I'm just going to do everything together. And you see that? So this is how it's going to look. It's coming out beautiful already. So I'll take the sewing machine now to sew it all down. Right now, this is what it looks like. After sewing it up, you can see how beautiful it looks. So the next thing now is just to fix in the band. The next thing is to fix the band, to close it by the side, then fix in the band with the zipper and you are all done to have your beautiful circle to skirt. This is the result of the outfit. You can see how beautiful and nice it looks. So make sure you give it a try. Tag me on Instagram, Key Signatures, and on Facebook, Sewing Innovations. Bye for now.